All right, guys, continuing this series on some cost-effective uh, camo apparel options. Got another piece from Leo Cola here. This is their combat shirt. They only make one model, as far as I'm aware. I picked this up pretty much because I wanted a combat shirt in the five-color temperate flecton, and this is possibly one of the best options out there that you can get for reasonable money. The only better options I've seen were Cry G3s uh, that a certain European shop has that were priced insanely high these shirts are a lot more reasonable this one came from asmc.de german retailer uh, good service from them i'll link down in the description of course now as with a lot of leo cola stuff they make a ton of color options for these and depending on what camo or color option you buy you'll get different fabrics you want to pretty much look for the nylon cotton blends not the polyester cotton nyco is better in every way that counts it might cost you a little bit more, but it will last you far longer than that price increase uh, would proportionally indicate, if, if that makes sense. It's a pretty simple combat shirt, but then that's what keeps the price down. The more pockets and stuff you put on, the higher the price tends to go because it's more time at the sewing machine for the person producing it. So you've got a simple Velcro cuff. It's actually split slightly there, so it's be a little bit easier to fold and do shorter sleeves no reinforcement on the elbows it's not double layered slide downside but probably be fine for quite a long time there's a little bit too much velcro on the bicep pockets to my mind they're a little bit too hard to get into when you're actually wearing it and you've only got one arm and you end up having to like grip it and do this weird thing but being able to get to them in this fashion rather than having to go into the top is a little bit easier good field of loop velcro for all your morale patches one idiosyncrasy with these that i'll point out now when they arrive they come with german flags permanently sewn onto each arm along with loop fields small ones just here right in the center of the chest i imagine they're for bundeswehr uh, ranks rank tabs to be velcroed on i've just unstitched those flags and the pieces from there absolutely no need for them this piece of loop here will probably be for a name tape no doubt probably take that off as well you don't need it the odd thing about this combat shirt as you probably see in this collar area is the way the t-shirt base as it were continues past the thicker fabric on the of the camouflage normally they'd cut off the t-shirt and then you just have your camo or uh, you know thicker material collar on this one as you can see here it's literally a t-shirt it doesn't have the t-shirt sleeves but it does have the t-shirt collar um it's a bit odd to actually wear it feels a bit strange it's probably not going to be what you're used to it's not a major drama uh, i don't have any issues with it it's just a bit different it's very european not something you'd see with american designs or american manufacturer generally the t-shirt itself is a little bit on the thicker side probably a bit more suited to slightly cooler climates not the quickest at sweat wicking not 100 percent on the fabric blend the t-shirt area is made of i don't know whether it's going to give you any no melt no drip or whether it's going to be pure melt and drip uh, so you want to check that out depending on what your usage and what your needs are you want to check that out before you pick one of these things up it is very soft and comfortable though you're nice flat stitched or flat lock seams i believe is the word down the sides very smooth on the inside comfortable to wear decent sweat wicking i'm i'm pretty happy with the performance of it overall for the price collar can be worn down this is very it's a very sort of 80s 90s military style to having it open like so but you've got velcro and you can close it up you've also got a velcro tab up here if you want the full mandarin effect and you can close that up to really cover your neck if you want the higher collar Arms are identical, nothing to show you different in ter differently in terms of the sleeve pockets. Really nothing to the back. It's got a good yoke of the heavier weight fabric so that the sleeves are actually joined and you're not having the t-shirt material pulled apart by the weight of the sleeves. I've seen some combat shirt designs out there where there's almost no Nyko or polycotton joining the sleeve areas and the sleeves tend to pull themselves apart at where the weaker t-shirt material around the yoke neck area it doesn't just doesn't have the strength to hold it up basically you've got a 
got a hanging loop there which you can pretty much just cut out you're not going to need that it's not a coat you don't really need that because you can get these in a nylon cotton fabric i would again rate these at sort of the bottom end of what is good and acceptable for a real world duty military or police usage but they're well priced uh, for what you get again i'll link down in the description plenty of colors available check what you're buying check what exact fabric you're getting and uh overall a strong option especially for you guys in europe where american stuff can tend to cost quite a bit more just something to consider leo color aren't particularly well known especially outside of mainland europe and here in the uk but again i think it's a good option worth worth a few seconds to check out at least all my social media and stuff down in the description box if you've got any comments on the shirt any questions on the shirt any other combat shirts you guys recommend that you feel give a very good performance for the money that are, are well made using good fabrics please drop them down in the comments uh, i'm always looking for more feedback more information more stuff i can talk about just for watching i'll see you next time